Generic greetings and welcome back once again to a rainy day on Prison Architect where in the previous episode we were predominantly building the central cell block, technically cell block C, but I guess for namesake we would say A, B and then C, but it doesn't really matter. The upshot is that basically we now have a total safe prisoner capacity of 168, but with obviously some overflow in this holding cell here and apparently a lot of people wanting to go in there to clean and obviously we got some prisoners as well. We did and still do have some problems when it comes to some needs, specifically recreation, exercise, hygiene, and also clothing. Uh, comfort is also a bit of a problem, mainly because the prisoners have to go outside to work in these fields, which means obviously getting rained on, hence the comfort need. I think, hopefully, the laundry is pretty much sorted. You can see they're actually just standing around and not doing much else. If I go over to a laundry basket and place those in, I'm hoping that uh, that will fix the problem. There was many suggestions over the course of a couple of episodes regarding the problems saying that we need more janitors because nobody working there obviously we do have people working there adding more ironing boards in more laundry machines or we could have just had this huge delay with uh, the arrival of all of these fresh um, these fresh uniforms because we had a load of trucks come in to build the center one but hopefully because it's not a massively critical need and with the introduction of the new things that have just placed the laundry baskets and all of the uniforms that will be sorted either way in this episode we want to continue on and probably at minimum clone the yard and then I do want to look at actually removing the holding cell and building a gym to allow people to get that exercise need inside because at the moment well when it's raining or when it's cold or when it's both of those things it's suboptimal to be outside either way let's go ahead and go over to our deployment and then to access only and I want to set all of these fields to access only in fact I want to set all of these to access only which means that yes the staff uh, can obviously be around there this wants to be staff only as well but yeah I want this access only so that only the prisoners who need to be in there actually go there and also staff only for all of these little bits because well naturally we had a bit of subsidence on the wall and is that about right and that should be staff only that is fine i could set access only to pretty much all of these so i don't really know <laughs> sort of what this will do having it as access only but it's set that way anyway so we'll see how we get on Technically, the cleaning cupboard should also be the same because you can get some chemicals there. But we'll see if that makes any difference. Although we've made a lot of changes here in one go, so we may not we may not find out some of those things. Anyway, we also have a green energy supply. I don't think it's an issue, but you can see we do have the transformer quite low there. But we are exporting exporting some goods let's go to a shakedown and oh no we've still got prisoners who are waiting to be escorted to their cells so i'm not going to do a, another shakedown there danger level is low and oh, sorry it's medium and heading low we've got 18 grand in the kitty 11 grand plus or minus per day and let's just check our grants and you see bank loan is zero and yes i cannot get any bank loan because our credit rating is zero which means i can't increase or decrease that i don't know whether that's a feature or, or slash intended consequences of having a negative a negative bank loan but basically at the moment i there's no way for me to get a bank loan we had the, this this problem previously in a different a different series and we just had to modify the save to allow us to to pay that back basically once you go into negatives it then goes to zero but you can't then increase your credit rating because well you don't have the option to you know if we could just take out say one generic units of currency one pound whatever one dollar it will increase it slightly and then give us the button back so literally the button's missing but hey ho it is what it is we have uh, sorted out the pantry uh, you can see there's lots of stuff in there i've set those up in terms of logistics actually no is it logistics yes it is logistics crop distribution and I've set that up so we have 75% for our exports so we are exporting a lot of food and I think I know there was people mentioning about our policy and ingredients on apparently that should be the other way around it should be 75% imported goods is that the right one I think that may be the case let's see what happens there because apparently I've got uh, the ratio is slightly wrong. I've got it the opposite way around. We'll try that and see what happens. We'll just keep an eye on that one. And also, that's a lot of turf in there. I should probably place that. In fact, if I if I 
got the I've got the time, so I may well may as well go to our flooring over to the grass here, the turf, and I'm just checking because obviously it's dark and it's quite difficult to see that we can do that, and then all this turf will be shifted. Also, what I want to do is see what the warden's talking about. Ah, oh, we have it looks to be a break in the pipe there. It is minus three degrees. Technically, you could have frozen, but I doubt it being underground. Either way, we'll go to utilities, large pipe. We will place in a large pipe in the broken location. And then, <laughs> how many uniforms does one person need? One, two, three, four, five prisoner uniforms. That's dirty ones. Plus, I'm assuming the one they're wearing, although if they are in bed, we don't know what their sleeping habits are. And then there's a fresh one there as well. So... Hmm, interesting. Anyway, I've told them to deal with that. You can see that we have got our janitor here who is using these laundry baskets and cracking on with all of this. The janitors will do that. Obviously, they only do that, though, when other people are not working. So maybe we get some more janitors, but we already have eight. Let's, let's get a couple more and we'll see if that helps matters. You can see we've got a lot of these dirty prisoner uniforms and actually still guards who are not yet... And I actually uh, went and taken those guys. It does say we have 29 regular guards. Yeah, let's get one more. There we go. And that should be us about right there. And are they just, Penny's just going to stand there and do nothing? Pretty much. Anyway, in terms of grants, we've got Selbuck D, Reform Through Education Initiative, and the Advanced Farming. Obviously, we're progressing on with all of those quite nicely. The farming, we just need to produce fertilizer. Now, I've got a lot more compost bins than really are required, which is why it's taking a lot of time. And again, people have pointed this out, but I don't really want to delete them because then we'll lose those resources. So yeah, I'm just waiting for them to complete. They will complete eventually, and then we'll get a nice little bonus there. And we still do have this weird bug with the food trays where they just have them sitting around there, which is curious. And I did want to, before anything else, go over to objects here and right to the bottom. Oh, bit of a stutter there because of, I think, loading. And I want to place some storage shelves. So I'll place the shelving in like so. And that fits in quite nicely there. And it allows us to store more stuff in pretty much any area where you can store things. So, job done. The Reform Through Education initiative is pretty much sorted. We have to have one prisoner pass the general education course, which we are still running. If we look at our, if we look at our uh, programs here, yeah, general education course is there. And why is that not being? Oh, there we go. It has now been fixed. Job done. And then finally, cell block D, which uh, we're unlikely to complete, actually, if I'm, if I'm honest. And then why have we got loads of prisoners heading this? Way? Oh, I think these prisoners are going to the flower garden it's currently free time so they do like to go there obviously i did remove the orange trees here because i just don't really see the need for all of those and yeah there you go it takes a lot of time for them to get through there but i'm hoping that with the with removing the orange trees setting these to access only and fulfilling other needs we should hopefully have this danger level go down and not have as much contraband although it doesn't seem to be the case also i'm concerned that we don't have enough cooks although it seems to be all right what we like for food we can see that we have well food seems to be all right let's have a quick look at needs there we have a food need, a little bit of food need, but nothing major, nothing critical, certainly. Danger level going up because we have prisoners shackled in their cells or in solitary, prisoners being unnecessarily searched, and serious complaints in terms of comfort and clothing, I'm going to guess. And once again, we have these dirty prisoner uniforms there, and they're just not getting picked up, nor are these getting shifted. See these prisoner uniforms here? So... I'm not too sure what we can do there. Let's have a quick look at our jobs. And we have to there install all of this fertilizer, plant crop. What I'm doing is just try to find anything where it says... Okay, that's a lot of jobs queued. <laughs> I was going to try and find something on here that says... Oh yeah, move laundry basket to dormitory. Yeah. Move laundry basket to dormitory. All of that's in there. Barley, barley, barley. It is it workers? Because they're not taking that. It says prisoner uniform. I can't. I can't tell them to focus on that job. Install fertilizer. Move barley. It's all like barley and water and crops for those guys. 
Let's... I've got 20 workers, so I can't imagine it'd be that. Hmm. Anyway, we do have prisoners working in the fields. Making cash. There's early release there. Obviously, we do have two parole programs on the go. And people are signed over here. Yeah, those... Those uniforms are not... For over here, are not getting shifted. There's loads of prison uniforms. And it might just be distance because it's all the way over there okay is there a solution there might be a solution I'm not too sure what it would be there's another stack of uniforms there if I set out of interest that to shared what will happen we shall see will huh, people are coming over here and just sitting on the chairs <laughs> they're just sitting away because they can uh, there's a guard who's actually taking a big stack of uniforms in <laughs> Warren Hornybrook there's uh, just sitting on the office chair okay we should probably probably change that back it hasn't altered it yet anywhere the uniforms large amounts of contraband yes yes we're aware of that oh oh prisoner released Christopher Green I was gonna say how are they how did they get outside well it's because they were released that's why and you can see we've still got all these uniforms because we're not pushing the basket all the way over here curious there's loads of prisoners in solitary I'm going to guesstimate the majority have been yeah they've, they've probably had the basically have stuff they've nicked stuff there's a feather stone what's James been up to found drugs found weapons found weapons yeah it's gonna be pretty much that across the board okay fair enough fair enough well, we've got a lot more prisoner uniforms hanging around here, which is good, and stuff to get washed, but they are focusing on that, and the fact that they're st sitting around here is very, very concerning. I'm going to change that back to our staff only, so deployment, staff only, there we go, they'll just then go out of there, and then we've got these prisoner uniforms here. You can see all of these storage shelves that I've put in now have managed to make the storage of this much better which is good um and oh there's a laundry basket finally so we've got the laundry basket getting moved by our guard there as well so they are doing that I'm just hoping that those shift if i delete them it will probably not go so well let's do a full shakedown we haven't done one in quite some time that's 808 places to search so a lot of places to crack on and search there and there is ah that seems to be a lot more ingredients there loads of tomatoes getting cooked there which is good let me double check and ingredients fresh slash import ingredients usage Fresh ingredients, loads, and pot ingredients, not so much. And there's a tunnel. It is quite a substantial tunnel. Keeps going as well. It's one, two, three, four, five and a bit dormitories in length. Which I don't know if you know, but that's actually a uh, internationally internationally registered measurement unit. It's uh, oh yeah, six and a half dormitories. Everybody knows what that is. Let's just remove that, and obviously I've prioritize the removal of said tunnel although apparently that means not taking them bits out there we always saw that and ah laundry baskets you can see all of these are now getting well all the all but one of the prisoner uniforms have been shifted so hopefully that'll get sorted yeah that prison prisoners shouting for uniforms if we double check again uh, needs yeah there's still that there Okay, fair enough. But I think most of it's getting sorted. I don't know if I need any more cookers. I don't believe so. And there's a lot more prisoner intake as well. I'm still waiting for these. The problem is that we've got weather on, which means as soon as it rains, they get, you know, a lot of problems because they're outside, they get wet, they need more they need more uniforms basically. So you can see all of these are getting washed. Loads of prisoners working. And we did change our policy. Sorry, our regime. To work all the way through. 
And I could just have work and free time up to there as well if I wanted to. Just to get that sorted. Oh, hang on. Deaths. Oh, look. It's Paul Corner. I wonder if they're up to no good in the neighbourhood. Looks like they are. And they do seem to assault the dogs a lot. Which I really don't like. Okay, so we've got the yard over there. That is something I did want to clone. But I am very tempted, in fact I think I will, build the gymnasium. So we're going to remove everything in the gymnasium and they're going to re-put everything in the gymnasium and then work on a dismantling sequence for the majority of stuff in here we will naturally will keep things like the radiators and I could technically keep the showers I don't think showers in a gymnasium are I don't think it's a big surprise to have them <laughs> so We'll see, but I'm going to remove that, and you can see we need weights, benches, and gym mats. Well, I'm going to place those eventually, but we've got things like a treadmill. Kits for the exercise need. Yep. We've got dumbbells, table tennis. No, we don't want anything like that. But we do have boxing rings. So I'm putting two boxing rings in. I like the idea of that, although I'm going to put those at the back. And there we go. Water coolers. Maybe put some more in. But what else do we need? Uh, snack machines, drinks machines, weights benches. I think weights benches we will have in lining there. And then we'll rotate them so they'll go across. We do want some gym mats because obviously that's a big, a big thing. It's actually something you need. You need weights benches and gym mats. And just behind those... I'll play some dumbbell racks, but I don't know how expensive... Oh, they were only 100. Actually, I guess these would go on the wall, realistically, like that. That'd be a bit better, like, against the wall. I guess you could have them anywhere you want, but we're going to put them there. And then... Actually, you know what? I prefer the treadmills there. Let me redo a lot of this. We'll have the treadmills along there. Oh, they're expensive. <laughs> it matters not. And then behind that... We'll have our dumbbell racks, like that, and then the gym mats, like that, and we could put more in the middle, but I think that's about right. We've also got punch bags as well, could have more weights benches. Let's have a couple of weights benches. rotating those but it's not doing anything anywhere and you could put fans in there as well but I'll I'll not bother and there we go and we have weight benches in now okay good how are we doing for laundry we've got loads of prison uniforms which is good and these ones are still yet to be shifted if I dump I'm just going to dump a little one there Little stack of five. There's another death. Overdosed. Mark Batty. Didn't even alert us. It really didn't even alert us. Right. We'll check out our needs. Clothing need... I don't know if it has been altered, but the other stuff's not too bad. And another death. Can't see. Doesn't say. I guess they've been already escorted somewhere. Curious. Curious. Anyway. Oh, look. There's the guards bringing in the uniforms. See, the guards do bring in the uniforms. In fact, if we set the laundry to staff only, I think this is only operated by members of staff in the prison. I don't know if it's guards, but certainly it's... Certainly it's like janitors or something like that. Just going to double check our last 24 hours stuff being nicked. And there's a lot less stuff being brought here. Obviously lots of tools naturally we will find. The metal detectors are being searched from here. 
and if nothing else, when they go through here with the detection or going through here, any metal detectors will find that. And all of the produced narcotics, we're still producing some narcotics, or rather the prisoners are still producing some narcotics, but I don't know where or how. There's a janitor operating the laundry basket. I think what we'll do is go one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just see if we can get this under control. I don't technically need all of that, but we're going to put them all in. And that obviously will allow the janitors to work here. What I do want is, because it seems to be a bit of a problem, that there, I want to have that as an automatic door. So we'll put a door servo in here, like that, and prioritise the building of that, just so I don't forget. And go to connections, and door control system, and then obviously over here, and then we'll connect that up. There's some prisoner intake, obviously going up to our maximum of 167. There is our door servo put in, which requires electricity even though, well, it's inside there. I guess I'll just run it open. There we go, it should be, should be fine. I haven't really kept an eye on the amount of prisoners, sorry, the, the type of prisoners that we've got coming in, mainly because it doesn't matter. We have a legendary prisoner there. Jerome. Is that three legendary prisoners? That is three legendary prisoners. The two that were ex-gang members. And there's a potential CI here. Violet and Green Thumb. Well, we'll recruit the informant. But I didn't realise we had a third one. There you go. Duncan Jerome. Or Jerome. Prisoner number 8947799. Extremely strong, volatile, ex-law enforcement, extremely quick. Hmm. But they're all low-risk prisoners, so... Yeah, not much. There's the guys working on the... <laughs> working on the solar panel. Which is pretty good. We have already done that. So there's not much we can really do on that front. Let me just double-check our grants. I've got manufacturing facility... Overproduction, which is still locked, but we've went through most of that. I don't want to turn any of these off. Cell block C I can get rid of, but we'll have to pay back 10 grand plus a fine of a grand. So, is it worth it? To get overproduction? Might be. I think it is. Because I pick up overproduction, and it's all about just selling stuff. And luckily... Carrot, potato, cabbage, tomato, apple, peach, and banana. No oranges. We don't need to have oranges around. <laughs> this is a good thing. This is a good thing. Still waiting for the weights bench to be placed. There we go. It's now a legitimate gym. We will put in our utilities here. So electrical cable, which we'll need to run up to here. And there's another example of the lack of consistency. Where most things electrical, when you place them, start with an electrical cable underneath. These do not. So, yeah, placing it in hopefully will help. We've now completed uh, cell 50 harvested tomatoes and working on the potatoes. So it's not going to take long to, to get the rest of that. We've got more compost being at least produced and flower therapy on the go as well. Uh, I don't think we're very close, sadly, to... Let's have a quick look at our programs. Our general education qualification. Two interested slash qualified. One finished, zero pass. So we're still working on things. And danger level is hovering. That clothing need has definitely gone down. Hiring those staff members has certainly helped. And we've still got some uniforms to take, but things seem to be working. Alright, that is all fine. Still a lot of stuff being found at the checkpoints here, which we were going to... This area here, which you can hardly see because it is <laughs> pitch dark. This is where we're going to have our automated farming. But I do want to spend some cash on getting a lot of these areas basically have flooring in. So let's spend 12 grand on getting that done because I've been wanting to do that for quite some time. Visitation, we will have... Which will have a visitation? Mosaic would be nice. 
I think we can probably go for mosaic. Actually, probably just wooden floor again. All oh, that's going to cost 12 grand. Wow. There we go. There's 24 grand on wooden flooring. Not that it really bothers me because we're getting 11 grand plus or minus a bit per day. Obviously, it's based on shop sales as well as sales from here. But you can see that we've got the potatoes sold, the tomatoes sold. We're selling the bananas, uh, not the peaches though. I think what we'll do, we've got apples, four, we've got three apple trees and six peach trees. And these are just bananas. So we need some more, we need some more trees. Um, so double check down here. Scroll down, apple trees, we have two of. So I'm going to place one, two in there. And then we want peach trees, which to be fair, we're going to have more peach trees than anything. But that's also fine. There we go. I guess I could. Oh, hang on. Someone? Was that someone there with an orange? I believe it was. Orange. It was taken from there. Oh, it looks like they've started to... They've started to dispense oranges. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's a lot of oranges being found here. Okay, fair enough. It is what it is. It's not a big drama. And... Lots of farming there. Lots of farming. Lots of selling as well. Double check over in our policy. And yep, that definitely seems to be a better ratio. Which means more cash as well. I do still think we need some more cookers. And we've just got this random bits of look food just in the middle of this. That has to... Surely that has to be a bug. We've got one, two... Three food, uh, three four, <laughs> three food. Uh, we got three four food, um, right in the middle of these serving tables, in the exact same spot. So surely that's a bug. Also, we get ones over here as well, which are oh, actually have been removed. So that's fine. Yeah. Okay, we've seen that. Let's go ahead then, and with the limited cash that we have i want to get some more cookers and the cookers themselves will go along here one two three four not going to place any more than that that is sufficient for our needs i'll just obviously connect those up with electrical cable and sort that and there's a oh is that newell yep it's tim newell who is not being stopped by that guard what? But they have been tased. Hang on. Kicking off over here as well. Alex Damon. I thought I heard another one around here. Apparently not. Anyway. Looks like clothing needs are getting fulfilled. That is much better. All of the flooring is in and around that area, which is also good. In the gymnasium and in the common room, I would like to use wooden flooring. And, oh, it looks like Adam Damon has been knocked unconscious. And Clegg is, I'm hoping not, yeah, I'm hoping not punching them, but maybe just practicing. Clegg, I believe, is the one who's in the running for the general education course, if my memory serves. Yeah, they are going for alcoholics group therapy. They failed the pharmacological treatment to drug addiction. They've su succeeded in the alcoholics group therapy and they're still doing it. Pearl hearing failed two times in flower therapy. There's definitely a Clegg, or at least was doing that program. Yeah, Benjamin Clegg. Right, I got my Cleggs mixed up. It's very easy to do. Yeah, they have a very low success chance of that general education qualification. That's a shame. That is a shame. And also, you notice that the mail, it's getting sorted, but... I can't... Have we ever seen letters being delivered? Now that I think on? Hmm, I'm really not too sure. Over to quick build and the cloning here. We're going to clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy and select all of that. That would be a total of, if we did that, seven grand to... To build that so actually it's not a huge amount of cash so i'm pretty happy with that what i've noticed as well is see all of this all of these all the produce it's doesn't matter i was going to say it's all missing from the pantry but that's because it's getting cooked up we've got tomatoes we've got potatoes we've got carrots we've got uh, just 
ingredients there. But anyway, that is getting served up and everybody's taken it, which is good. Spot on. And a bit of fighting there and a bit of a bit of sick everywhere. It's actually not a bit of sick. That's that's more than is I would consider healthy. <laughs> Under most circumstances. There's all of the apples falling from that tree as well. And they don't fall too far from it. Danger level is going up. It will be clothing because it's raining. I'm guessing. Yeah, clothing. Clothing and comfort. Every time it rains, they want new clothes. So because of the weather and the fact that this is outdoor, you know, it being a farm prison and all of that, we're having some issues. But hopefully we've allevi alleviated some of the issues with the... Increase in laundry baskets, obviously almost doubling down on the amount of janitors that we have and extending the work hours. It is work slash free time, so that's all right. We have sold 50 carrots, 50 potatoes, probably more actually, but we've done the minimum. Uh, and 50 tomatoes oh, and 50 bananas. We're currently on 40% of the cabbages and we've not sold any apples or peaches, but we've got more stuff in there. So hopefully that'll be okay. Right, I think we will leave it there for now. I can't say it's been an overly dramatic episode, but I think we've got a lot of problems resolved and hopefully with the gymnasium put in, that will increase, or rather I guess decrease, the amount of people that are having some issues. There's a lot of weight benches in there. I'm tempted to put something else in the gym actually. What else can we put in? We've got gym mats, we've got fans, we've got all of these... No, sorry, we haven't got fans. We've got the running things. We've got the um, we got the rings in there as well. Just two of them, though. The boxing rings. We don't have any water coolers. Prison Architect's water cooler moment increases the grades of things, but I don't think I really need it. There's also gravestones as well that we could build, but we're not going to go for anything like that. And like lanterns huh and you can also buy food food tray packs now which I think is just the sort of easy way to resolve the problems that you may have when there was all them bugs when it came to the uh, the lack of food trays we can just buy them now I mean people are working in here it's good to see see Austin there well there's green who's exercising on the exercise mat. Austin was using the dumbbell racks. Not seeing any kettlebells or anything, but, you know. I think this is a fairly well-stocked gym. But there you go. Not too bad at all. Okay, we will leave it there for now. Next episode, I'm going to try and figure out why there's so much sick on the ground. And we will potentially look at cloning this yard. And then looking at the farming over here, specifically the automation side of it, which will be, well, the fun's in finding out, so we'll see what happens there. And then obviously just put in a bit of flooring, and then we're actually close to being toward, getting towards the end of this uh, end of the series. So probably only a couple of episodes to finish that off, and then we can discuss expansion or testing, escape, etc. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the episode and for what it is the series thus far. Comments in the comments, thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.